Today I'm going to explain why no one, not me, not a single person watching this video, no one on this planet would ever be able to survive living in the Middle Ages. People who come up to me saying, oh, I was born in the wrong generation, just shut the fuck up. Please shut up. It could be so much worse. So, so much worse. Say you time traveled to the Middle Ages and you ended up in Europe or some shit. You're not going to be able to understand a single fucking person, okay? The way that we speak right now is a melting pot of multiple cultures. There are a lot of people who speak French. There are a lot of people who speak Church Latin. And there are people who speak Middle English, which is basically if English became autistic and started saying a whole bunch of words from the Bible. This is around the time where there were no hospitals, no, no anesthetic, no, 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 no shots, no nothing, just, just thoughts and prayers. If you got pregnant during this point in time, it was a big deal because a lot of women died giving birth. It was so popular to the point where women had to sign their will and testament before they gave birth. A C-section wasn't performed unless the woman was about to pass away or has already perished. And on top of that, one out of five women would perish in the midst of pushing out a baby. There was a lot of women getting pregnant, so you do the math. The mortality rate in medieval England was 30%. And when you take into account the fact that they're, they're, they didn't have no medicine, they didn't have no electricity, no running water, not even toilets. It, that, that's, that's bad. There was no such thing as the middle class. You were either rich or you were just dirt. You weren't even poor, you were just dirt. 85% of the population were serfs who lived under a king, who they spent most of their time keeping the king rich. Motherfuckers couldn't even get married without the king's approval. Imagine not being able to put your shaboing boing inside of somebody that you like. And there's no such thing as hunting. If you're poor, no, you don't do hunting. That's for rich people. You don't do that. If you get caught hunting wild game, you'll be punished severely. We'll explain that later. Your food, if ever available, will typically be bread and stew, which is what you feast upon for the majority of your life. You might get a few other dainty little delicacies, but it's basically the fast food of the Middle Ages. Your house will consist of a small little hut that is basically just a big ass fucking room with a chimney, maybe not, and one fucking window. And your roof is gonna be covered in hay, so you better watch that fucking flame. The life expectancy of the average male was 24 years while women stayed around for a whopping 33 years, which is better than the men, but not good because the plague. The plague happened. And uh, depending on what part of the year in that whole entire millennia that you were around, yeah, you women got it the most. The justice system at this point in time was just, it, it, it was bad. It was really just bad. The, the guys with the powdered wigs, you ever get to that fucking point, you're, you're just fucked. You might as well be presumed dead because most of the goddamn punishments resulted in death. 100% positive. Most of the time you died. Sometimes you got tortured. You were forced to walk on hot coals or you put your, hot, your hands in uh, boiling water and, you know, that was your punishment. But m most of the time, you died. Or, or you were in prison for the majority of your life. And that was horrible because, you know, you know the, the living conditions in prison weren't that good in that moment in time. And nine times out of ten, you weren't being fed. Murder, adultery, treason, bribery, fraudulence, d death. D death. That's how they solved that problem. Not to mention, there were like 300 plus wars throughout the entirety of the Middle Ages. If you were poor, 
and you were a part of a kingdom that had beef with another kingdom, guess what? You had no choice but to fight. You had no choice. You just either that or, you know, just death. That, that was pretty much the only option. They only sent the men out to war for a short amount of time. So if you were able to survive the first 40 days, you were able to go back home. And that's only because if all the poor people went out to fight the wars, who, who would be here to take care of the rich people? Logic. The medieval military was, for lack of a better term, disorganized, which led to a lot of people losing their lives. And the rich people didn't care because they saw those folks as less than human. Rich people at this point aren't safe either because the majority of the shit that they own is covered in lead. And they don't realize that lead is bad for them, which is a shame. Really. Head first into the fucking plague at this point. People are just dropping like flies in the middle of the fucking street. The carcasses everywhere. And yeah, it, it could be so much fucking worse. And these people feel the need to do, oh, I wish I was born in a different generation. No, you don't. Shut up. Please shut up.